So this is for the reduction of carbonyls with NaBH4. So the first thing you'll need is a carbonyl, either a ketone or an aldehyde. So if you added a hydrogen right here, it would be an aldehyde. And so then you'll add NaBH4. The biggest thing about this mechanism is that it will not reduce carboxylic acids or esters. So if you need a mechanism that's very specific, um, that won't reduce carboxylic acids or esters and only ketones or aldehydes, then you should use this mechanism. So the first thing is that you have this compound, NaBH4, and then a hydrogen, right, will come and attack the um, ketone uh, where the double bond, where the carbon's double bonded to an oxygen. So then what happens is, so this carbon can't have more than five bonds, so the double bond actually becomes a lone pair and goes to the oxygen. So now a negative charge is on the oxygen. And so then what you can do is add a hydrogen, right? Um, so this is just acid, right? H3O plus, also written as H plus. And so what the acid does is, since it can't really go anywhere else, um, it'll just go to the oxygen and then take away the negative charge and then make it more stable. And um, notice how the hydrogen's missing right here. Well, it's still there, it's just that Normally, um, the hydrogens are implied. For example, there's three hydrogens here and three hydrogens here, but you don't draw them because they're implied. And over here, it's the same thing, but this was a ketone. This would be an aldehyde. So NaBH4, a hydrogen comes, attacks. You have your hydrogen, negative charge, and then you put in acid, and then um, you have a hydrogen form right here. So it'll be a alcohol at the end. So Use this mechanism whenever you want to specifically reduce a ketone or an aldehyde. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.